Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa. Uh, we've pretty much spent all of the last video in the morgue, which is fine. But now we're finally getting out, so let's move on, shall we? Without further ado, let's get in. Yeah, no, it is this one. We just, we have to get, we have to. This should be able to play the DVD just fine. Well then, I'd better take a look. I took the DV Kyoko gave me and put it in the player. It said it was playing, but nothing appeared on screen. I stared into the black of the monitor. It must have only been a few seconds. It to me, it felt like an attorney. All of a sudden, an image appeared. Sayaka took me by his total surprise. I hadn't seen Sayaka in who knows how long. And there okay, she was. then. Are you ready to begin? The voice I heard was the man positioned on the side of the screen. It was the voice of a middle-aged man. I do apologize, but I hope you don't mind if I record our conversation. I'm a little slow, you know. I never really got the hang of taking notes while having a conversation. It sounded like he was trying to make a joke, but Sayaka's tense face didn't move a single So moment. this video is meant to serve as a kind of contract substitute. It's not that I don't trust you guys. It's more like insurance. So please don't worry too much. Now then. Let me get straight to the point. There is a chance that you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Uh, um... You want me to accept that? Jack was obviously a total loss. It made total sense. Who would agree to spend the rest of their life in the I... school? I accept. What? Thank you. Thank and you. I'm sorry about all this. It surprises me what things it voices and what things it doesn't. But then I thought about it, why Sayaka, Sayaka doesn't have it, it's her thing recorded. It's because she never made it to the first trial. She died. So I don't know if they even really hired somebody to do her voice role. Well, I can promise you that I will do everything in my power to keep you safe. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, I give you my word. As if on cue, that's where the video cut out. There was a lot I hadn't understood up till now. But this, only this, I simply can't comprehend what I heard. Because I know how much Sayaka wanted to get out of here. But I know how much she wanted to escape and pursue her dream with her friends again. She wanted that so bad she tried to frame me for murder. So why? Why would she say yes to living here for the rest of her life? As I sat there thinking about it, I noticed a sudden light. The monitor video that I thought was finished flashed back on screen. I started back to the screen. As if I was confused before, what I saw next pushed me right over the edge. Huh? What I saw was me. Impossible, undeniably me. So, Makoto, before we begin, I should let you know that I'll be recording our conversation. Yes. Me and the headmaster were looking directly at each other. He and I were having what seemed like a fairly normal conversation, but I thought I in the here and now had absolutely no memory of it. I had no memory of even meeting the headmaster, much less sitting down talking with him like this. Now, shall we get straight to the point? Makoto, there's a chance you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Yes. This can't be real. I said I'm yes. I'm sorry I'm putting you through all this. Well, I mean, we don't have much of a choice, do we? But I promise that as long as you're in this school, I will do everything I can to protect you. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, that's the very least I can do for you. Once again, the video cut out. From there, the video repeated the same scene again, again with the other. Puya. Toko. Hina. Everyone. They all said they agreed to live in the school forever. And then... Kyoko. Her interview with him had been recorded just as clearly. Without a doubt, she had met him. She sat down with the headmaster of Hotspeak Academy, her father. And when he asked... Her and his questions, he answered the same as everybody else. She accepted a life within the school. 
just as Kyoko's interview was wrapping up. The monitor suddenly went black. Huh? It wasn't the monitor. The DVD player itself had apparently turned off. But of course meant the DVD wasn't playing anymore. What the heck just happened? Say what? Oops, looks like it broke out of service. What just happened to break it just Too now? bad! Now then, when does... What? When doesn't matter. Failure can strike anywhere, anytime. <laughs> That's what failure is, right? Failure my ass. You cut the power on purpose. Well, whatever. And when I watched the whole thing, I'd just be more the same. He'd ask them the question, and they'd all say yes. I couldn't help myself to let out a huge exasperated sigh. But as I did, I remembered something. That's right. I fainted too, and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation with myself, a disconnect. It would seem... Thinking back on it now, at this point, my memory was gone. And at that time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I come to this school. I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what would make you forget all that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine. It happened by chance. It seems too much too convenient. A convenient outcome. Something that seemed to obviously work in favor of the mastermind. So, does that mean... I've lost my memory too? What about the others? Have we all forgotten? Or... Interview DVD has been added... Has been updated in Truth Bullet section of your handbook. For anything that has a start, there has to be an end. And if the end comes, then that means it's time for a fresh start. There is no night that doesn't have a dawn. Although that dawn is totally pitch black, there is no storm that won't eventually end. Of course, then that leads to drought. But as I said, every end is the promise of a new beginning. Which is why I'm sure we'll get to meet again, because the end is only the beginning. Anyway, let's get started. The beginning of the end of the class trial. Everyone gather once again at you know where. <laughs> it's about to begin again. The class trial is going to start. The final class trial. The last time all our lives will be on the line. The last time hope and despair are on the line. I don't have a choice. I have to do this. Okay, then. This is the end. I guess I'm the first one Makoto. this time. You're early, Makoto. Listen. Does that mean you feel prepared? Yeah, for now at least. But where's everybody else? Why aren't they here yet? However... Don't worry, I'm sure they'll be here soon. And just like she said. Bye, Fuya. Bye, Fuya. They arrived one after another, but they were all in the same state of shock. Hina? Hero? Silence. It wasn't any normal silence. It was the deafening silence of fierce suspicion. It was like the first class trial. You called for me, and so I appear. Ah, oh, I'm late. Oh, I'm on fire. Ah, oh, strong, silent master. So wonderful, so cool, so hot. My loins are ablaze. Yes! Now listen, everything will, everything will be just fine if you leave it to me. My beautiful scissors! With my scissor sharp scissors in hand, I'll stab and gouge and shift the master of evil. But I thought you couldn't kill anybody but adorable little boy. <laughs> if it's what master wants, I can. it could be a boy, girl, or anything in between. I can handle it. <laughs> Where am I? Whew. No human language can describe the disappointment I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Is everyone here? Oh, and wearing our gloomy Gus faces, I see. Well now. Okay, well then let's begin. Trails, chills, kills! The final class trial is going to be slathered in pitch black despair. Climax... Uh, mom sorrow. That's fine. You're right, this is the final class trial, and this time it'll be fair. How strange. What do you mean this time? Stop with all that slander. I'm a bear in good standing, you know. Unbelievable. If there was a Mr. Fair Guy Universe contest, I'd take home the tiara every year. I'm going to win this game super fair and square. Today, I'm feeling white. And I'll make everyone watching at home knows. Despair is mighter than the Stop talking. Enough of your tedious drivel. Begin the trial already. 
Sure, sure. Let's begin the trial already. I'll be waiting for you down below. Hey guys. So don't try and run away. <laughs> Laughing as loud as ever, Mon Monokuma disappeared. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. In the name of my family. This will be over in no time. With an inexpressible confidence, Bayakuya was the first into the elevator. One by one, the others followed. <laughs> Nobody made eye contact. Nobody said a word. They just disappeared into the hey. elevator. They're all acting odd. Like they're paranoid, suspicious of each However. other. However. But you know why that is, don't you? Yeah, I think so. However. Well, you can tell us all about it soon. At the class trial. You're right. I'm ready. So. Ready to win, right? Of course. <laughs> Glad to hear you say that. I think Yoko was aboard the elevator. I started making my way towards the opening. I step after step towards the gaping maw. I resolved that this would be the last time. I repeat to myself there was no fear, no mystery left. I pushed my anxiety down, calming my trembling body, and finally onto steady legs. I passed through the threshold and stood in the elevator. Without warning, it began to descend deeper and deeper, deeper, deeper still, deeper, 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 deeper and deeper, deeper, deeper it fell. I closed my eyes and sight fell away. All sound, too, disappeared. Alone in the universe, I waited for the elevator doors to open the last time. What could have been a second century later, I felt the gentle vibration of the elevator come to end. I slowly opened my eyes. This is the final trial site? <laughs> what do you think? Isn't it just perfect background for deciding your person's yeah! fate? The long-awaited last stage is always the exciting final boss battle. <laughs> and I'm going to sit on a, sit in on this one. I'll just sit right here in the vacant 16th seat. Kills, chills, kills! Well then, let's begin. All right. Since this will be the final class trial, I've come up with a special rule. So listen up! If you can figure out Mukuro's killer and go on to solve the mystery of this school, you guys win! But if you can't, then I win! And of course, waiting for the loser is the super exciting, super hard pounding punishment! Are you saying that if you lose, you'll execute yourself? <gasps> Ooh, that'd be a twist, wouldn't it? I can't say that I wouldn't love to see Monokuma just fucking get annihilated. You know, that'd be, that'd be great to watch. Yep, sure will. And that's final? No loopholes? No wiggling out of it later? Of course not! Bears never go back on their word! Never mind all that. I just have one question for you. Oh, you're taking this serious, huh? Are you feeling okay? Is the mastermind only one person? I want a blanket for my feet. Hmm? Don't bother. I already know the answer. You're all the mastermind, aren't you? You're all out to get me! You stupid man. I'm right, aren't I? I knew it! Ugh. Ugh. You guys have all been working together, haven't you? I have evidence, so I know I'm right! Hey, you stole my line! You're all out to get me! I'm sure of it! I have evidence of my own! What a coincidence! I too have evidence to present. Evidence that proves everyone other than me has been working together. W what Wait, hold on! This doesn't make any sense! How can the three of us each have that kind of- No, that's wrong! Break. It's not just you three. I have evidence too. What? You too? The evidence you're all referring to is this group photo, right? Well, well yeah. Huh? Wait, but mine's different. With the picture you have, I'm in it. 
But that can't be right. Because in my picture... See? I'm the only one not in it. Here's my Hero, case. you have a picture too, right? Let's see it. Uh, okay, but be careful with it. It's pretty important evidence. This one too is just as I thought. So the secret in these pictures has been revealed. We all got tricks played on us. Secret or whatever, I don't care. You guys are all in on this together. That's why I'm the only one missing. But you're in my picture. You're the ones trying to trick me. So the whole purpose behind these photos was to get us questioning and fighting with each other. The mastermind laid a trap to make us each think everyone else was working against us. I mean, if he was gonna do something, that'd be a good place to start. Huh? I laid a trap? A trap? How rude! What grounds do you have for such audacious accusations? The proof I need to reveal Monokuma's trap. Each photo has a certain something in common. There's a connection regarding what person isn't showing in the group photos. That person is... I got it! In each case, the only one not in the picture is the person who received it. So, in the picture I got, I'm the only one missing. In the picture Hina got, she's the only one missing. And in the picture Hero got, he's the only one missing. As long as we're talking about it, I suppose I should show you my photo as well. Ooh. In other words, Monokuma gave each of us a group photo in which that person wasn't included. And when we each saw our picture, we just assumed everyone else was the enemy? <laughs> Figured it out, huh? Yeah, I thought that must be it. But how was that a hint? But you know, there might be more to this than just Mama Monokuma trying to confuse us. There's something else that bothers me about everyone's pictures. What is it? What's digging well, at listen, me? Listen, can I see everyone's group photo one more time? It's not directly connected to what we're talking about, but I'd like to double check something. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I don't mind. I'm sure there's something unusual about these group photos. What is it? I need to compare each of them one more time. Saikuya's picture. Tina's picture. Hero's picture. And mine. There's something strange about all of them. Something I can't quite pin down. Something. Your photo has been updated in the truth bullet section. Can you just forget about the photo already? Ugh. Trying to trick me with such an obviously fake photo? I'm still pissed about that! And on top of that, they went to all that trouble to make it look like we were wearing matching uniforms. Hmm? So you think they're fake? <laughs> no, 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 I assure you, they're quite real. But, but what are you talking about? There's no way! Yeah! I don't remember ever taking a picture like that, so it's gotta be a fake! I'm sure of it. But you know, can we really be so sure? Huh? Don't get me wrong. I don't remember taking this picture either. But is that really enough to be absolutely positive they're fake? What do you mean? The reason I don't remember this picture isn't necessarily because it's fake. There might be some other reason. Some terrible reason. The unbelievable, entirely horrifying reason.
Thank you. Now I understand. Let's say myself. that somehow we'd all lost our memories. That could explain it, couldn't it? Oh, I get it. So we all just lost our memories at the same time and forgot about the photo. Makes sense. As if. You expect me to believe such an unbelievable occult-type story? Yeah! We all lost our memories? That's just... crazy! It's only natural that they wouldn't believe it. And no matter how much they refuse, that's the absolute truth. They have no choice. We can't move forward until they accept it. And there's another way to prove it besides this picture. You're saying we all got spontaneous amnesia? Since when did this turn into some kind of sci-fi fantasy? I promise you, I haven't lost my memory. Ever since I got to this school, I remember everything that's happened. No, that's wrong. I'm very good at I hope this. you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, remember to hit like and subscribe so YouTube brings you back to uh, keep going on this uh, hamster wheel till it's done. Uh, I hope you had a good day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.